Hi everyone. I'm going to do another pour on a terracotta pot and I really enjoyed doing that and the two previous ones are pretty much already dry and this is what I'm going to show you. This is what I prepared the inside surface with. So the pot and ornament sealer. I just followed the directions and so I prepped them ahead of time and what I've got here are my paints. This is the Ultramarine Deep from Creative Place. This is Montmartre Yellow Orange and this is a couple of leftovers of the blues between the other two pores. Uh, so I just put them together into this cup and added a bit of white so that we've got two different blues. Um, this is again leftover cup so that's what I'm going to pour with and let's get straight to it. So all the paints are mixed with uh, what's it mixed with? Floetrol <laughs> and they all whoops not that bit not concentrating Let's just add some silicon. Okay, so the bit that I just tipped in here, I just added one drop into and one drop into this bit here. And the orange, I just put two drops. And now we're good to go. So that is my Mototech silicon spray. I've showed it many times and it is a spray, yeah. So I spritz it into an old uh, tie-dye um, container, tie-dye bottle and that way I can do the drops. So I'm sort of trying to layer these with the blue and the orange and then I'm going to put the lighter blue which contains white uh, drop it from above into the paints and then give it a little stir So drop this one from high straight in and it did that perfectly. Happy, happy. All right. Whew. So I'll give it a little stir around the edge and through the middle. Very nice. Okay, so I actually took my Lazy Susan over to the other table. So I don't have that for this pour. But what I'm going to do is put it on my hand. No, I'm not. I'm just going to leave it there. Let's see how that goes. So, I'll just turn it on the pots. It's just resting on some paint pots. Um, can turn that if need be. Alright. Let's see. Mm, very nice. The orange and the blues have mixed a little and created a brownish colour. Which 
which is kind of terracotta-ish on its own, isn't it? So just encouraging it to go into those grooves. Oh, it's looking great. I'm so, I am loving this. Just, we'll see how this looks at the end of it too. And if it's a nice brown, I can save that. So, that'd be nice. See, I don't know that. Turn, turn. A couple bits here. A little bit like struggling at some points trying to get over that dry surface and I think that's it guys I do I do right I think that looks awesome nice nice plant in that pot with a bit of Greenery, I think perhaps maybe a succulent in that one. Okay. Give it a torch. Okay, hey, that looks amazing. Da, 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 da. Yes! This is so cool. I am going to be doing lots of these. And I've already got like colours in mind, um, not just pores in mind, but other techniques. Oh, very exciting. So I'm going to just run around the edge and lift and turn, run around, lift and turn. Yeah, so I mean it was most definitely easier to do it on the Lazy Susan. But, uh, you know, you don't have to have these things to uh, be able to come out with a, a creative art piece. So, there you go. Let me just turn it around for... Look at that. That is stunning. Alright guys, I'm just going to... Grab you down and give you a closer look. Alright. Woo! <laughs> that looks great. I'm very pleased that I put those blues together and created the lighter shade. That looks great, even with the darker blue. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, the the darker blues look amazing among the orange and the light blue. Focus. I 
because you've also got to remember that this is the top and this beautiful section is the bottom. <laughs> so there we have it. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed that. Another quick terracotta pot. Give it a couple more turns for you and I'll add some photos. Oh, that's beautiful. So here we have it. This is the dried pot. The stunning colours with the blues and the orange. Out there. As you can see, pretty much stayed as is. The drips, the cells. I'm trying. There isn't even any varnish around this, guys. It is literally just the uh, the flash from the camera. So this is what the top looks like. Isn't that just stunning? Came out so pretty. Alrighty. So there we have it. Just because it's dry, I can pick it up for you. Flip it over and look at it from that perspective. Isn't that awesome. All right, I'm really enjoying these pots. <laughs> Here we go. Stunning. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you again real soon. Remember to be fabulous. <laughs> Bye.